and it breaks down into the following. So what we've got is a number of different phases. And so what I've seen is this. There's these different levels of recruitment agency. And breaking down into the brass tacks, going back to what I said at the top of the hour, what does that mean in terms of income for you? We've got zero. We've got around 5K a month. We've got 10K maybe. 20K a month. 40 80 and about 160 a month and that's I know that's not some of you on the call I know are doing more than that some of you are doing less than that but that's a month that's the sort of figures I see per month and that's the scale that I see in terms of growth and it really breaks down into the following type of recruiter or agency we've got those that are working in their spare time we've got those who are working part-time and that's normally around the 5-10k a month. We've got those who are working full-time. We've got those who are working crazy hours and they are earning okay money but guess what they're missing out on the whole family life and all those good things. They've set their agency to do two things. One, get paid an awful lot of money to pay for their family but guess what they're working crazy hours and actually they're actually not seeing the family. We've got those who are really what we call in the in the money phase so now they're starting to hit the figures that they were looking to hit, to achieve when they set up the business and we've got those what we call in free time so they're now using strategies like frustration and freedom and they're actually spending less time on the business but they're getting paid more than they were well more than they can actually believe they're going to get paid right at the beginning when they set this up so it breaks down to those phases now what I've seen is this, what it actually means in terms of the different types of recruiter we've got is this. We've got those who are in the startup phase and those are the ones who are generally, they're doing zero to five K a month and it's a bit of a spare time. We've got those who are so startup recruiter, so doing things maybe still working for someone else and doing things on the side. We've got those who started their own agency. They're in the grassroots mode. They're, they need clients. They need candidates. They're getting moving. These are in the startup agency mode. So those started an agency and they're moving from, do you know what? I'm sick of getting paid 10% commissions. I want to move and get paid 100% or I'm going to hire the staff and get paid 90%. The startup agency. We've got those who are in stability. They're, they're moving, and do you know what? They've now got through that first phase where how do we get clients? How do we get candidates? So you might be using double to do that, for example. Those in stability. But then they're looking to get into success. So they've gone from when they were working on a desk for someone else, they were earning 100K, 200K, 300K, 400K. Now they want to earn that themselves. So now they're in the success phase. Then we've got those who are they're starting to do do much better but guess what they got the scale they're doing 40 80 grand a month but they're losing the hours they got the money but they don't see the family that's the money phase and then we got those who are starting to hit where we want you to be significance so those who are in significance they are market leaders they're earning good money so they are doing more than a million dollars a year but what they've actually got is free time why because they got systems they got systems. Now there's a sequence, a sequence to growth. This model doesn't exist because of um, some airy fairy reason. This model exists because this is what I see time and time again. And Tanner, you're absolutely right. I'm always bad at my G's. Tanner's inside my inner circle. Significance. And then we move into success. And then spe scale in significance where we got more spare time so there's a process we move through now this actually breaks down into three key phases three key phases and the three key phases are these let me just change my pen that's phase one
and there's phase two and then top in the phase three and these three phases look like this and again this comes from now seeing hundreds of recruitment agencies in the last year last two years last three years etc there's three phases that recruitment agencies go through the first is they go through a let me just change pen again what we call a hunt phase So phase one, they go through a hunt phase. They're looking to get their first clients, get their first candidates, to break even, get enough money to get keep moving, enough money to pay the bills. That's the hunt phase. The next phase is when it gets exciting for them. They go through a build phase. Hey, I've used double R, double R. Do you know what? It's getting me this amount. Okay, double R, double R will do really well. Remember I showed you there's 150 plus strategies that we've got. Double R, double R can, get, can make you go from hunt to build extremely quickly, from 10 to 40K extremely quickly, from 40 to 106K extremely quickly. But we also need the nurturing. We need those foundations. We need all the other positioning pieces in place. So the build phase, we start to move into those other elements. And then we move into the flow stage. Now, this is one of the best phases to be in, if not the best. Looking back, when people get to flow, they look back and really enjoy the build phase. Do you know what? That was such a cool phase to be in. I never knew I could achieve this. But the flow stage, you've got more time. And you're actually earning more than you have done before. So what I've seen is this model is what I see in recruitment agency owners, directors happening time and time again. And there's a sequence. So we go from a foundation stage, which is down at the startup phase, we go into an authority phase. We go into the attraction piece, automation piece, into the scale piece. Now, can you see how that fits into what I showed you earlier? We've got five phases. We've got foundation. Then we move into the attraction piece. Then we move into the automation piece. My pen's, pen's killing me. Then the authority piece. So these three phases actually become one phase. We actually make these three phases become one key phase. So remember what I showed you earlier about the three phases? Attraction, authority, automation. These are the three phases that go back and forth over each other and that's where you get the growth. Then the top phase, remember I showed you, was the scale phase and that's where we are moving between the top two phases. So there's a process you must go through to make the million dollar recruiter. It's not something that just happens by accident. There's a set of phases you go through, a set of technologies you use, so the minimum of three automations you use. So the set of phases you go through. Does that make sense, guys? So can you see when would now be a really good time to start thinking about where am I on the, on the, on the map? Am I in hunt phase? Am I in build phase? Am I in flow phase? Can you see that moving from phase to phase actually has a set of strategies behind it? Now, I don't know what you want in your business right now, but you can now see that we go from, right, to do 10K to 20K, right, we're going for a build phase. 20K to 40K, that's top of the build phase, different set of strategies. Right, flow, we want to go to 40 to 80. Okay, now moving to scale. Scale and significance, how do we do that? So you can see we've got a set of steps we go through. 